everyone is watching as this thrilling NBA Final Series comes to a Game 5. It's locked up at 2-2. It's anyone's game. And either of these teams could walk out tonight one step closer to the World Championship. And in our matchup tonight, we'll see the Golden State Warriors going up against the Boston Celtics. This is Brian Anderson. I'm here with Hall of Famers Grant Hill and Doris Burke, our reporter, Allie LaForce. And the starting group for the Celtics. At the two and the three, Brown and Tatum. Al Horford out there with Robert Williams. And it's Smart in at the one spot. And for the Warriors, the core of the dynasty all out there. Splash Brothers in the backcourt with Draymond at four. Andrew Wiggins is out there with Wiseman. Taking a look at Boston, facing, in essence, a best-of-three series. Only two chances to steal one on the road. So true, and this is their best chance here. And when it comes down to a Game 7, that would be a fairly hard environment to win. Here we go. And so off the tip with Boston. Smart passes to Williams.
Easton has gone over to the outside. That's the white. Here's Richard. Harder by Cooper. Watches him. Kept alive by Boston. Tice, after missing his first attempt, now one for two. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to create the I think defensively, that is not the way you want to start giving up high percentage looks. That doesn't seem to be that well.
smart against Curry. Smart with a bucket. You have to appreciate the confidence of Marcus Smart. At point blank range, he is an efficient scorer. Time called here. The Warriors decide to talk it over.
and he makes both free throws. <clears throat> a little over a minute gone here in the second half. Wiggins passes to Wiseman. Outside corner. Over Williams. Porter shot is off. He'd like to see more effective ball. There's no doubt there were better options on the floor, but he certainly seems like he has it. Oh, there's the whistle on the shot. Two free throws for him seven. Also good, so he hits both free throws. The Warriors leading. Outside pink. Pass to pool. Inside. Porter uses the glass all the Also with a sub, White, he's checked in for Jalen Brown. And Boston has possession. They're trailing by five. They just look so overwhelmed inside. And that's why they continue to get attacked. Pool outside. There's the triple. That one is off. And the Celtics going the other way now. Outside team. Here's Williams. Here's Tice. Chalk up two there. And now just a one-point warrior lead. This guy is just working his tail off on the board. Just love the effort, love the energy. Here's Poole. Doesn't go that time. Solid defense for Williams. For Boston, they've gone three of five from the field in this third quarter. Right on the way. Back to Richard. Straight up to long range. Warriors with the rebound. Wiseman's got his fourth rebound in this one. We've come to expect him to make. He's got to be upset with that one. Here's Tatum. Here's Williams. Oh, that one's good. A nice job on the glass as they picked up two on the second effort. Oh, beating everyone to the ball. Great activity on the offense glass. Eight second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Yeah, 
already won multiple MVP awards, Steph Curry is still pursuing improvement and trying to add to everything his team does. I love that approach. Well, we know this. Free throw shooting is such a good aspect of the game. This guy keeps his composure and helps the game. Guess what? This was his game all night. I mean, he tore up the defense and almost never took a bad shot out there. Really, a level of offensive consistency most players can only dream of.
2-2, a team season can ride on a game five like this one. They did a terrific job of rising to the moment and taking control of the series. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? Thanks so much, Stephen. A big time victory tonight. What aspect of this win pleases you the most? It's got to feel good to see you come together. Thanks so much. Thanks, Allie. Great interview once again. And that concludes our coverage of Game 5 of the NBA Finals. For Doris Burke, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, and our entire